Um, I've been a little fast and loose with some meditation at the beginning <clears throat> and how I set up the questions. So this is probably a better way to do it. Um, let your body mouth be such. And also, you know, don't, don't just jump here. I mean, you can, you might get lucky. Maybe the question's not worth that much. And if you jump straight here, they won't ping you for, you know, not making logic clear. However, maybe not. So, what, why is A5 equal to zero? Because he wants to fully repay the loan after five years. Okay. All right, so now I can actually start to form an equation based on all this information. What is A5? What's A5? If my borrowed amount is B, it's not 50 grand anymore, right? I've got B out the front, and he has a loan for five years, so it gets five lots of interest on it, right? Then you get your next part, which corresponds to the repayments, okay? Um, I keep on trying to indicate to you what each bit uh, signifies so that you're not just doing like mindless arithmetic or algebra, okay? So you know what each part actually means. That's really important. There's 10 grand. And then we had our series over here for all the repayments he made, which I think was, what was it? Um, this is R to the N, so that's 1.15 to the power of 5, minus your 1, all divided by 0.15. And that's equal to 0, okay? Because he wants to finish the loan. So by now, you know, we've asked so many questions of poor Johnny, you're probably getting the idea that um, it's always really the same kind of question. It's the same kind of setup. It's just a different target that you're after, and you just have to rearrange it. So these questions aren't hard. Um, I just have to get all my things in the right places. Okay? So I'm after B. Put this over the other side. Um, there's my denominator. I'm going to have to divide by this as well just to get B on its own. Right? Okay. So what value do you end up with? Being careful with your brackets and that kind of thing. Someone got it? It's like 33, what are the rest of the numbers? Yep. Thank you. Okay, from which you can make your conclusion, therefore he can borrow, and then you do your approximation. Now, just before we, um, Leave off, Johnny. Uh, just come back to your table one last time, and let's um, slot this in. Uh, 21. Now, I wonder if you find this result as, um, as intriguing as I do, because if you come back to the very first question we asked, right, which is after five years of making these repayments, what kind of a dent would he make in his loan? Right? And we noticed it wasn't a very big one. Um, he hardly even got halfway. Uh, how much he actually got rid of in the loan was about 17 grand, a bit under 17 grand. But then when we re rephrase the question and say, well, what if we borrow a different amount? It turns out he can borrow drastically more than that, almost twice as much as the 17 grand he paid off in the first place. So how does that work? Um, these questions are almost the same. Um, he's got the same compounding rate, interest rate, repayment, and time. What's the difference? Well, the difference, uh, you probably noticed, it's just how much he borrows. Right? Just by virtue of borrowing a larger amount at the beginning, um, that's what makes him pay off so little. And actually, this should make sense to us. Think about this. I'll pose this question to you. Um, if he borrowed, I had to crunch the numbers for this. Um, if he borrowed $66,666.70. Um, it's just a coincidence that that's the number. Um, if you work out what happens every year, 15% interest, right? Um, the 15% interest turns out to be, after you round it, um, $10,000 and one cent, right? So he makes his, his repayment of $10,000 every year, but because of how much he's borrowed at the beginning, his repayments never make any dent in the, in the loan. Um, in fact, the loan's just going to get bigger and bigger forever, okay? So what's the moral of the story? If you can help it, don't borrow large amounts of money, okay? Uh, borrow less because then you'll actually be able to repay them by the end. Um, even though 33 grand and 50 grand, you know, you might think, oh, it's like the difference between, like, a Corolla and a Mazda 6 or something like that, right? But it makes a big difference in the long run, okay? So you can see the numbers, why it works because of this series. Right? That's why we study a series of sequences.